All right, so I'm planning a big bike tour this summer, and I'm excited to share it with you. A lot of people have been asking how exactly I plan my routes and stuff, and this is something I've written about a hundred articles about on BicycleTrainPro.com and inside my book, The Bicycle Train Blueprint, but I will uh, today create a little video for you to kind of give you a quick glimpse into how I plan my bike tours. So I've been bike touring around the world for the last 15 years, and I've already cycled across 34 different countries just in Europe, and that doesn't count other continents all around the world. Um, one of my goals is to try to cycle across every country in Europe. And so this summer, I thought I would go across five new countries, um, and so that's what I'm planning to do. I'm currently in Brasha, Romania, which is down here, and my plan is to go across Romania, Serbia, and Bosnia, and then I'm going to take a bus up to Copenhagen, Denmark, and I'm going to ride through Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. And that will be the end of my bike tour in about September of 2015. So I had the general idea for the trip um, just to hit those five new countries simply because I've never been there before. And the first thing that I do with my trips is I do some research on the internet to just see what is in these countries that I might be interested in seeing. And then I place um, markers on this map in Google Earth. This is Google Earth, a free application you can download download online. Um, so what you'll see here in a second are all the markers that I've added to this map for this upcoming bike trip and some of my previous bike trips. Um, so like see up here, I, this is when I went to Iceland in 2012 or yeah 2012 there were a bunch of markers that I added to that map. Um, you see here there's some markers that I've added just recently for my recent trip from Poland through Ukraine to Romania. And now, I'll zoom in a little bit here. I am over here in Brasha, Romania, um, somewhere, yeah, here. And I'm going to go kind of this way over to this green marker in Tuzla. So um, what I've done is I've marked a few locations on this map that uh, I was potentially interested in visiting. Most of them are in Serbia because I've already been through uh, a lot of Romania before. This is my third time in Romania. So anyways, so I marked the, the routes on the map here, uh, these little int points of interest. So like here's a lake, here's a cave, here's a national park, here's a fortress in Belgrade, etc., etc. So I mark all this stuff that I would potentially be interested in on, that, on a map. And then what happens generally is that a, a route kind of forms. So I can let's see, like I'm starting from here, then I go here, then I go here, then I go here, then maybe down here then like, I'm not going to be able to do all of these things in Serbia, but maybe I go here, then here, then here, 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 and here. So that's kind of like gives me a general outline of like how the trip might work out. And I've done the same thing up here in, in Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Like, so I start in Copenhagen, which is here, um, and I've, you know, I've put some markers on certain things that I'd like to see etc, etc, etc. And so, as you'll see in just a moment, this is kind of how I start with planning my trips. I put these little pinpoints on there, and then I go to Google Maps. So here is Google Maps. The other thing, too, I should mention, is like, like what I'm planning this summer is pretty big. Like, it's three solid months of bike touring from, from Romania to Serbia to Bosnia up to Copenhagen then into Norway, and then finishing up here in Umia, Sweden. So, like, if you thought about that all as one big trip, that would be a lot of planning <laughs> to think about. Uh, you know, a lot of different routes, where are you going to stay for three whole months, blah, blah, blah. So what I do is I break my trip down into smaller, more manageable segments. And this is the first segment of the trip. There would be six segments, basically, um, for this upcoming trip. This is the first, from Romania through Serbia and into Bosnia. So I map that out on the route um, here in Google and I save this map, which I'll come back to in just a moment, you'll see. So then I do the, the second, the second part of the trip is simply taking a bus from Tuzla up to Copenhagen. So I'm not going to map that out because I'm just on the bus, it doesn't matter which roads they take. Then once I get to Copenhagen, I'm going to ride my bike 
probably this way, up to Oslo, Norway, taking some ferries and stuff over to Oslo. Then, once in Oslo, um, my friend Eric and I, I'm going to meet my friend Eric. He's flying in from Los Angeles. Um, he's never been to Europe before. This will be his first, like, I think, time outside of North America. And um, we're going to take a train. This is the train that we're going to take to Bergen, Norway. And once we're there, we're going to participate in a self-guided bike tour with ActiveNorway.com. Uh, this is their website here. They do hiking, biking, and skiing tours all over Norway. And we're actually going to do two of their self-guided bike trips back-to-back, -back, Eric and I are. Um, we're doing this one, which I'm going to mispronounce the name, but Biking Hardanger Ford. I'm sure I'll learn how to say that by the time I get to Norway. So I'm going to do this bike tour uh, first, which is really, really awesome. Um, let's see if they have a map here. But it kind of starts in the Bergen area and then kind of winds its way in and around the fjords and stuff. And then we're going to do this tour around Sunhord land by bike and boat, which here's the, the kind of route that we'll be taking on that tour. So we're doing both of these tours back to back, which is about 11 days of bike touring. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, you can learn more at activenorway.com. It's active and then a dash norway.com, or this is the uh, Norwegian website. Then um, Eric and I will go back to Oslo on the train where we are going, where Eric will fly home, and my friend Rob is going to fly in from Canada. And Rob and I are then going to meet in Oslo, and we're going to ride our bikes from Oslo back to Bergen on the same route that we kind of took on the train, Eric and I took previously on the train. So this will be my fourth bike trip with Rob, which is crazy. We met in uh, Switzerland like three years ago and um, did a bike tour there together with Bike Switzerland. Then we did another bike tour, a self-guided bike tour in uh, France in the Loire Valley. And then last summer, we rode by ourselves from Helsinki, Finland, up to Kajani, Finland. And now this will be the fourth trip with Rob. It's about a week-long trip um, from Oslo to Bergen. So that's going to be really fun. As soon as that's over, I am going to be on my own for the following month, month and a half or so. And the plan is to ride on my own, kind of up the coast of Norway as much as I possibly can. Um, and then cut over at some point, I don't know where exactly, but for now I'm just kind of showing it here, um, to Umia, Sweden. And my bike trip this summer will end uh, in September, mid-September, in Umia, Sweden. And from there I'm going to fly back to Los Angeles, California um, to visit my parents for a little while. I haven't been home in 17 months, so i um, kind of looking forward to that and getting some Mexican food. Probably spend a month in uh, a month in California or so, visiting friends and family and resting, and then I'm planning to go to Central America after that on another bike trip. So, but this is uh, the the European leg of my trip this year, and um, this is kind of how it starts. So I, I break it up into segments, I map it out on Google, and then the next thing I do is I have an application on my phone, my smartphone, called maps.me, mapsforme.com, I think, or, yeah, maps.me. This is the website, maps.me, and it's an offline mapping application. So it's kind of like GPS, um, but it doesn't require an internet connection, which is great because when you're traveling by bike, you don't always have an internet connection. Even if you are have a SIM, you know, even if you do have a SIM card in your phone, you don't necessarily have internet all the time. And so this allows me to simply download the maps of the countries that I'm going to, like Norway, Sweden, etc. I download them to my phone ahead of time, and then I just simply use my phone's smartphone or uh, my phone's GPS feature to tell where I am and follow a specific route on my map. Uh, or uh, yeah, follow a specific route on my phone. So um, what I do is I simply download the files for this, um, each of these little legs of my trip, and I send them to my smartphone. Once I've done that, 
I can simply turn on my phone and all of the files, the lines that you see on Google Maps here will show up in my phone. And once I've done that, that's pretty much all I need to plan out my trips. Um, when I first started Bicycle Turn 15 years ago, I used to plan out every like single night of my trip, and I knew where I was going to camp each night, and where I was going to stay at hotels and stuff like that, but I don't do that anymore. Um, at least this year I'm not doing that. Um, simply because I've been doing this for so long, I kind of learned how to just do it all on the road like and and it's kind of nice like not planning sometimes because you can just uh, stay in places that you like longer and fly past places that you aren't enjoying that much or if you're simply in the mood to cycle you can just keep going so I don't plan where I'm gonna stay each night um, for the most part but um, otherwise the whole route is in my phone now and I have everything I need on my smartphone to get myself from my current location in Romania through Serbia into Bosnia up into Denmark up into Norway and over to Umia Sweden so the next three months are completely planned out and that is how I plan my bicycle touring trips